Let's go and talk about the synthesis of methamphetamine. Okay, and, and just as a disclaimer, guys, this is only for educational purposes. Um, this is not for um, you know, any idiots to be watching this video and thinking this is something that I'm giving you information on to how to make meth. No, this is only for purely for a class and organic chemistry purposes. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Now I took this class, this was actually on my test. So we had to know how to synthesize meth. So I'm just pulling out there that, that you should know how to synthesize this molecule also. Okay, now the molecule looks something like this. And let's walk through the retrosynthesis, retrosynthesis to see what's going on. So I know from the, the finishing molecule, the product that we've seen here, we could actually get this from a double bonded nitrogen to a CH3. Okay, so I ret run through the ret retrosynthesis. I know that um, this must be coming from some sort of nucleophile that lost two hydrogens, okay? If I retrosynthesize this then some more, well, I know that that has to be a carbonyl that was replaced by the nitrogen. So we have this, this carbonyl compound here. Plus, well, I lost two hydrogens in order to get, I lost two hydrogens in order to get here. So therefore this has to be, um, Yeah, so this has to be methylamine. Okay, so this has to be methylamine. Okay, and if I break this bond, I know that we can get this from benzene. Okay, we get this from benzene plus, um, I could replace this with an leaving group. So this is chlorine. And so this is this turns out to be alpha chloracetone. Okay, this turns out to be alpha chloracetone. Okay, okay, and how do we make alpha chloracetone? This is uh, Friedel Crafts, um, uh, uh, you know, alka uh, alkylation, and so I could use chlorine and acetone. I get the structure, and so I'm going to run through the synthesis now. I want to talk briefly about a little, a little bit of these, okay? So we, we know how to make this, okay? We know how to make this. Uh, where do we get this, okay? So uh we know we could get uh um in real life we could get acetone we know acetone is pretty easy to get chlorine again we can get that from the store that's bleach okay that's in bleach okay and so if we get these two molecules yeah we could sure we could make this alpha acetone okay where do we get benzene from well again as chemical supplier not hard to get okay this is a problem this methylamine yeah now if you go to school as a school you know or research big research projects yeah obviously this is pretty easy to get but for an individual you're not just going to go to a supplier and be like you know this this yeah you're not just going to get this like that it's hard to get i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of legal process and all that stuff i don't know uh but this is the one that's hard to get and so this is the the kind of caveat in, in actually synthesizing meth okay so let's run through the synthesis so so let's run through the synthesis. So if I take chlorine, so if I take acetone, okay, and we know where to get that, and we add chlorine, yeah, we add chlorine in some sort of lowest acid. So in this case, I'm gonna lose aluminum trichloride, okay, aluminum trichloride. Well, we get, we create alpha chloracetone, okay, we create alpha chloracetone, okay. Now, I can use benzene, yeah. So I could use benzene with alpha chloracetone that we just made and some sort of Lewis acid. And again, we lose, yeah, so I'm drawing this all wrong. So again, we lose the chlorine. And so this is now bonded to a carbon that has the carbonyl and then it's extended. Okay. And now again, we know about nitrogen chemistry with, with, with our carbonyl compounds. So if I add a methylamine, which is hard to get, then all we do is just simply replace that. The carbonyl with a nitrogen, we lose two hydrogens and we get our CH3. There's our R group, yeah. And then the idea is that if I reduce this with lithium aluminum hydride, okay, if I reduce this with lithium aluminum hydride, then I'll lose my double bond. I've gained an H and I have my CH3. And this is the finished product. 
So again, this is just a quick, simple synthesis of methamphetamine. Um, nothing hard, as again, problem is getting this part of the molecule. It's really hard to get.